Welcome to Seychelles, a paradisical archipelago in Africa located in the Indian Ocean. The archipelago consists of over 115 islands with less than a third being inhabited. With perfect blue waters, white sand beaches and tropical flora, each island is postcard perfect. Seychelles is renowned for its beaches, notably Anse Soares to Orchans, often topping the lists of world's most beautiful beaches. Not many people know that if you seek an active holiday, Seychelles is actually an excellent destination with hiking trails and various water activities. The different islands are perfect for islands hopping, so in this video I'll share the ultimate 10 day travel itinerary. To get to Seychelles, you have to fly to Mahe, the largest island of the country. We flew to Mahe for approximately 650 euros per person. We flew from Brussels with Ethiopian Airlines and had a 3 hour layover in Addis Abeba. The total travel time was around 14 hours. So when arriving in Seychelles, you already are at your first destination, which is Mahe, the largest and most populous island of the country. It's a beautiful green island with enchanting beaches. The capital of Seychelles, the Freiburns Victoria, is also located on this island, offering a glimpse into Seychellois culture. Mahe is not only the gateway to the other enchanting islands of Seychelles, there's also plenty to experience on this island. The best way to explore is with a rental car. We rented a Kia Picanto from Crail Cars. The significant advantage of this rental service is that you can pick up your car at the airport and drop it off at the ferry terminal without incurring extra charges. On Mahe there are various activities to enjoy. Go diving just off the coast of the island at one of Seychelles best dive spots or spend a day beach hopping. Our favorite beaches on Mahe include Anse Mayor, Anse Royal and Beaufalon Beach. If you're curious about Seychellois culture, a visit to the capital Victoria is a must. Explore the vibrant local market, learn about the colonial era at the National Museum of History, or learn about the biodiversity in a natural history museum. Are you a rum enthusiast? Then don't miss the Takamaka Rum Distillery for authentic Seychellois rum and join their free tour. Oh. And don't forget to catch a breathtaking sunset at Sunset Beach or Beauvalon Beach. We stayed four nights at La Maison Hibiscus self-catering accommodation, a spacious apartment in Beauvalon. The location is superb, just minutes from the beach with several takeaways and restaurants nearby for evening meals. For our last night we chose Castaway Lodge, a comfortable accommodation with a pool closer to the airport. From Mahe, we took the Cat Cocos ferry to our next destination, which is Praslin, also pronounced as Pralin, the second largest island of the Seychelles. Praslin is a true paradise for beach and nature enthusiasts, home to the rare Coco de Mer, and a gateway to Seychelles' giant tortoise. Little tip, are you prone to seasickness? Ensure you have the right medication. The sea can get quite rough, causing discomfort for many on board. If you prefer not to travel by boat, you can also take a plane. Things to do in Preslin Preslin is smaller than Mahe, but exploring the island requires covering quite some distance. That's why we again opted to rent a car from Creole Cars. Then, visit beautiful beaches like Anse Lazio, Petit Anse Lazio, Anse Georgette and Côte d'Or Beach, Seek out the Coco de Mer in Valle de Mai, which is the most popular park, or in Font Ferdinand, which is our favorite. Both parks are more or less the same, but Font Ferdinand is way less crowded. Furthermore, the park offers a fantastic viewpoint. Also, a visit to the giant tortoise on Curious Island may not be missed. We stayed three nights at Tortorel Holiday Home, a basic but spacious accommodation with its own kitchen. Visiting Seychelles in the low season meant many places were a bit quiet. 
If choosing again, we'd opt to stay around Koh Dor Beach in Ansiful Bear Village for a livelier atmosphere with more takeaways and restaurants. From Praslin, you take the ferry to the last destination in this itinerary, namely Ladik. This journey only takes 15 minutes and can also be done as a day trip. But if you want to experience Ladik the proper way, we recommend staying here for a few days. The island is renowned for having the most beautiful beach in the world, Anse Sor Starjans, a stunning sandy stretch surrounded by massive granite formations. Ladik is even smaller than Preslin with only a few cars and golf carts, which cannot be rented by tourists. However, you can rent a bike, an ideal way for us Dutch folks to explore the island. We rented two bikes for three days via Dada's bike. About things to do. Go visit Union Estate, a former coconut and vanilla plantation, to access Aans Sourced Arshant. Other beaches worth a visit include Anse Cocos, Anse Pate and Cayman Beach. The latter is reachable by hiking and you'll find a cool rock pool and a charming beach bar with a super friendly owner. If you're up for a challenging hike, then climb to Ladik's highest point, the Eagle Nest. We stayed three nights at Sirov Guest House, a basic but comfortable apartment in a prime location in the middle of the island. Also, the owner is incredibly friendly and helpful. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it or found it helpful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my channel with notifications on so you don't miss any future videos. I hope to see you for my next one. Bye!